Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, everyone. My name is Ryan Gohler. I'm a scientific director in the Computational Genomics Group at Bristol-Myers Squibb. The Computational Genomics Group is responsible for managing and processing NGS data for both clinical trials and various research projects. We process tens to hundreds of terabytes of data per year. And as such, we require an enterprise-grade platform to enable us to seamlessly manage data and run workflows with the least amount of effort. Today, I'd like to talk to you about our open source genomics platform we call NGS360, and more specifically about how we support multiple pipeline execution platforms we use to run NGS workflows. About 10 years ago, we had a set of Perl and shell scripts we used to run workflows on a local cluster. We quickly outgrew our in-house infrastructure and moved to Amazon. We had to make our analysis scripts available to our scientists who didn't have the knowledge or expertise to run them on their own. The most obvious solution was to expose analysis capabilities via a web-based platform and hide all the complexity from the user. So we set out searching for an application that would enable our scientists to analyze data easily and at scale. After reviewing various open source and commercial applications that were available at the time, we were unable to find one that met our specific needs. Realizing there was no application within this specific niche, we decided that the best solution was to develop our own custom application. This is where and how NGS360 was born. Since then, NGS360 has grown into an enterprise-grade platform used across the entire R&D organization worldwide. NGS360 is able to ingest data from various sources, including in-house sequencers, public repositories, and vendors who perform sequencing for us. All this data is captured in our data store and cataloged as part of projects. At this point, scientists can run workflows with a few mouse clicks or using API calls. NGS360 enables workflows to be executed using various workflow engines such as Arvados, Seven Bridges, and hopefully soon AWS Healthomics. Once data is processed, we load analysis results into a suite of data warehouses where scientists can pull results for downstream analysis. Now, since this conference is focused on CWL, I'd like to talk specifically about how we manage pipelines and support multiple execution platforms and introduce our open sourced platform API middle layer that enables seamless cross-platform support. So before I get into the details, I'd like to first talk about our CWL pipeline architecture. So everyone is familiar with how we construct and run pipelines. All data we manage in NGS360 is organized within projects. When we run a pipeline on an execution platform, we create a project environment on the execution platform and import all the associated FASTQ files, workflows, and reference data into that working project. This way, we know we have all the assets we need in a single location to execute a pipeline. NGS360 creates the working project and stages the initial assets into that working project. All of our workflows have an orchestrator, or as we like to call it, the launcher, that is responsible for executing the CWL workflows on the platform. The majority of our workflows follow the scatter-gather pattern. Given a set of samples, we have a per sample workflow followed by a merge workflow. For instance, our RNA-seq pipeline consists of a per sample read mapping and quantification workflow followed by a merge workflow that summarizes the results of all the per sample workflows. It's the responsibility of the launcher to execute and monitor all the workflows on the project. Now, in any given project, we may have tens to thousands of samples. Some of these pipelines can take multiple hours to days to run. To support running a large number of samples, we utilize the launcher to manage the execution of the per sample workflows and the merge workflow, 
on the given execution platform. The launcher is responsible for taking the list of samples to be processed and executing the per sample workflow for each sample. The launcher has to handle sample failures, retries, etc. to ensure the entire workflow completes. Once all the samples have completed or some have failed, then the launcher executes the merge workflow using all the successfully completed samples. The launcher is the key to executing the workflows. We need this to function the same way across execution platforms. The basic, uh, the basic design of the launcher is as follows. Determine what platform the launcher is running on and create a corresponding platform API middle layer class using a factory method. Two, read a sample sheet to get a list of samples and associated FASTQ files, along with whatever other metadata is necessary to execute the workflows. Three, copy reference workflows and reference data to the working project if the workflows and reference data do not already exist in the working project. Execute the per sample workflow on all samples listed in the sample sheet wait for those to finish, and then execute the merge workflow on the successful samples. Some of our pipelines may contain multiple per sample workflows, in which case some of these steps can be repeated based on the number of per sample and merge workflows that exist. We really wanted the launcher to be focused on the logic of the workflow execution and not the execution platform itself. And this is where the platform API middle layer comes into play. We originally had all our pipelines deployed to a single vendor platform. This worked very well for us as we could focus on developing our pipelines and offload platform support to our vendor. Over time, we realized our pipelines were no longer portable as they contained vendor-specific implementation code and running our pipelines on another platform became very difficult. We could no longer share our pipelines easily with our collaborators. Two years ago, we developed a set of goals to ensure our pipelines are portable, reproducible, and vendor agnostic. In order to accomplish these goals, we had to ensure that one, our workflows are all CWL 1.2 compliant and contain no platform specific implementation. Two, ensure the way we run workflows across platforms is identical. We can't have an analyst running pipelines in one way on one platform and a different way on another. Now, since CWL is already platform agnostic, we didn't have to worry much about the actual workflows except to make sure that they conform to the CWL 1.2 standard. We had to develop a framework to enable us to write the launcher orchestration code agnostic of the execution platform. To support cross-platform execution, we separated the workflow execution logic from the platform specific execution logic in the launcher into separate classes. Our launcher code and platform API middle layer, which I'll just refer to as PAML, are both written in Python. PAML provides an abstract base class with a set of methods that subclasses will need to implement. For example, the base class has a method called submit task. The specific implementation for submit task for a given platform is handled in the subclass for that platform. This abstraction allows us to support many execution platforms without needing to make changes to the launcher. There are about 20 abstract functions defined in the base class that must be implemented in the subclasses to support project, task, and file management. To date, we've converted all our primary workflows we use in clinical trials and a number of research projects to this framework. Deploying new pipelines using this framework can now be done in a matter of hours. Maintainability of our launchers is now fairly easy since all the pipelines follow essentially the same logic and share code bases. One of the most important things is that we are now no longer tied to a specific execution platform. 
we can quickly shift from one platform to another with minimal effort, which was the original goal for the platform API middle layer. You can find the code for NGS360 here at http github.com slash NGS360. I hope you find the code useful and we welcome feedback, contributions, etc. With that, I'd like to thank you for your time and happy to take any questions.